you want to look like a badass? Do you want to drag your hand in the water? It's such a fun trick. This is the hand drag. Let's go. Before we get started, I think you should be comfortable doing small jumps, back rolls, transitions, and even half-loaded pops before trying hand drags. It's important to be able to release your edge correctly. If you haven't already learned some of those tricks, check out my tutorials in the description below. A good hand drag is all about kite position. Think about trying to float just above the water for as long as possible. It's all about finding that balance of lift and glide. Too much lift and you can't touch the water. Not enough lift and you fall on your face. So, you're riding along with a decent amount of speed. Move your front hand towards the middle of the bar, slowly bringing your kite up towards 12 o'clock with your bar sheeted out, start to flatten off your board by leaning your weight onto your toes. Only very minimal edging is required when popping a hand drag. As the kite gets to around 11 or one, simultaneously pull in the bar, creating lift. Release the board and your backhand from the bar and throw your weight out behind you. Lift your legs up in front of you whilst reaching for the water and then dragging your hand. The resistance of your hand dragging in the water is what brings you out of this trick. The kite will naturally start to come back down as you apply more pressure on your front hand. The hand dragging in the water will catapult you back forwards onto your board. Here are my top tips for the hand drag. Speed is your friend. The faster you're going, the further you can drag your hand. Engage your abs to raise your legs. A lot of hand drag tutorials talk about leaning backwards. I don't think that is actually the best way to do it. Think about a cartwheel, throwing your weight laterally to your side. I even throw and reach forward sometimes. There is quite a few variations to this trick, so try a few different ways and see what feels good. You can control your hand drag by adjusting the amount of friction with your hand in the water. Try not to pop too much. Think about a half loaded pop. If you pop too much, you will go too high and this will kill your forward momentum and you will not be able to drag your hand in the water. The longer you can keep your kite around 11 or 1 o'clock, the further you can drag. If your kite comes too far behind you, it will kill your forward momentum. Try to keep your momentum traveling forwards. That's how you do a hand drag. Super styly, always fun in any conditions. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.